In the 2015 UK National Equine Health Survey, it was found that 23% of horses and ponies were overweight. This was up from 16.9% the previous year. Unfortunately, one in five overweight horses and ponies suffer from laminitis, which is potentially fatal and in many cases life-altering. Equine metabolic syndrome is a relatively new term used to describe equines that are overweight, insulin-resistant and at risk of or currently experiencing laminitis. In these cases, laminitis should be thought of as a symptom of the underlying problem of obesity. There is some suggestion that horses with EMS are predisposed to PPID, formerly known as Cushing's disease, in later life. Clearly it is vital that horses are kept at a healthy weight to promote a long and healthy life. It is common to think that a horse or pony is working harder than he is and then overfeeding as a result. Hacking and schooling five or six times a week is only light work. Another contributing factor is not realising how much energy some feeds contain. Half a scoop of a low energy mix, for example, provides enough energy for 20 minutes of schooling. There is also increasing evidence that horse owners underestimate their horse's body condition score. Fat is becoming normal. Denji's performance horse nutritionist Claire Akers takes you through the stages of condition scoring and key fat storing areas. Excessive fat is stored on the neck. Fat is usually softer than muscle but can harden over time. If the crest feels hard, watch the horse walk. Fat will rock from side to side but muscle doesn't. You should be able to easily feel the ribs but not see them. The exception is a very fit performance horse, like an Aventor, where seeing the last couple of ribs is acceptable. If fat is building up on the top line, the spine starts to be a gutter and if viewed from behind, the horse will have an apple bottom. The area at the top of the tail may start to feel soft and spongy if fat is accumulating there. Stabling, restricted areas or a track system can all be used to reduce grass intake. Track systems mean the horse can move around more and can be closer to field companions. Using a grazing muzzle has been shown to reduce grass intake by around 75%. Be aware that horses will soon catch up on their intake if the muzzle is removed for any length of time. Replacing the same weight of hay with a low-calorie hay replacer, such as Hi-Fi Light, can help to reduce the sugar intake by up to 50%. Soaking hay can help to reduce sugar content too. The amount varies according to temperature and length of soak time. One study showed that soaking hay for 16 hours in water that was 16 degrees Celsius reduced the greatest amount of sugar, but we understand that this isn't practical for everyone to do. Soak for at least an hour if you can. Using a small hold hay net, like a trickle net, can help slow the rate of eating, helping to make reduced rations last a little longer. Also, use smaller nets so you'll be less tempted to overfill them with hay or haylage. Implement an exercise plan. Hacking, schooling, jumping, lunging and long reining will all help. Try to aim for at least 20 to 30 minutes per day, building up gradually if your horse is particularly unfit. Providing a source of vitamins and minerals is important to promote good health and condition. Healthy Hooves Molasses Free is a fully balanced feed and is ideal for promoting weight loss alongside good management. Jake weighed 516 kilos in 2013. He needed to lose about 100 kilos to be at his ideal weight and condition. With guidance from Denji performance horse nutritionist Claire Akers, Emma embarked on a weight loss programme for Jake. His grazing time was reduced. He wore a grazing muzzle, received 2 kilos of healthy hooves molasses free every day, plus 3.5 kilos of soaked hay. Jake has lost over 99 kilos and now weighs a healthy 415 kilos. Why not try Hi-Fi Molasses Free? This option means you can feed as much or as little as you like, but a vitamin and mineral supplement or balancer needs to be fed alongside for a fully balanced ration. Hi-Fi Molasses Free can even be used to partially replace high-calorie hay or haylage.